has done. My husband is a problem we have in our home. I have begged him. I have advised him. Stop sending money home. Enough, you two. Sister Monica. Sister Monica, Just I'm begging you. Whenever you have such a dream, please do not fight your husband over spiritual matters, matters that can be handled spiritually. Brother Peter, as a man, you need to also listen to your wife. Whenever she tells you to do something, see reason in them. Brother Peter, yes, Pastor. I'm really not comfortable with those two living in your house because they are not married and they are sharing a room in your house. I don't know what kind of legacy you are leaving for the youth. Pastor, I promise they are not doing anything. house to eat, sleep, eat again. Go to the kitchen, clean that kitchen. When you finish, go upstairs, clean my room, and make sure the toilet is sparkling clean. Um, Monica, you, you promise that you'll help me get a job. Honey, you just got one in this house. You just got a job. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, how much is the pay going to be? You know, I promised my brother that as soon as I get a brother, I will send him money. What? Margaret, are you okay? Oh my goodness. If not that I'm a born again Christian child of God, spirit filled, tongue talking, I would have called you a fool. Look at a slave that was shipped into this country in a container. You don't even know if Jude is planning to sell you off. And I'm here helping you by giving you something to do, a job to do. And you're talking about sending money home. Which money? You're not even settled, my great. You don't even know what is going on. It's people like you that my pastor preaches about to help. You, you, you think. Sending money home. Please go. You want to send money home? Which money? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you angry. I hope you, you are really sorry. Please go. This is very, very annoying. Monica. That was too harsh on that lady. She has done nothing but expressed herself. And for you to have done that, I mean, God has blessed you and I. Look at us. It's only natural that people will come for us to help them. And that's what we're doing. This is our calling. But that was too much. Wisdom. Wisdom, my husband. Wisdom. You know what? If you keep protecting that woman, girl, Lady, whatever you call her, I will call immigration on her son and Jude. That's what I'm going to do. If you keep protecting her, God has So that's why we, we should just bring everybody. Immigration. I better run before this one will ruin my life. <laughs> 